The objective of our symposium on the Australian curriculum was to give teachers a voice in a process that they feel largely left out of. We brought together teachers from primary schools, central schools, distance education centres, as well as representative groups, including parents, to discuss where they thought we were at with the Australian curriculum. There's really only one measure of the Australian curriculum and its worth, that is, will the proposals improve the learning opportunities and knowledge of our young? If it doesn't reach that standard, then it's not worthwhile. There is no rush. This ought to be about children and their futures. Until we in New South Wales can be assured that the Australian curriculum is at least as good, but preferably better than our current syllabuses, it ought not be supported. All participants at, in this symposium felt it was very important for teachers to engage in the consultation processes currently underway in New South Wales by the Board of Studies on the syllabus areas of maths, science and history. As a teacher who's very interested in science in, in primary schools and high schools, I'm concerned that we get the curriculum right. And from the level in, of involvement I have had, uh, it certainly demonstrates a need for teachers to, to give their feedback on the various aspects of the curriculum that have been released so far. Look, I suppose from a parent perspective, what we really want to see is that we get it right the first time. Um, what we want to do is maintain the quality of the curriculum to a level that we currently enjoy in New South Wales. Uh, and so when we switch to a national level, what we want to ensure is that that quality is maintained um, and that we're not disadvantaging New South Wales in any way. We're seeing a jump back in time uh, compared to what we currently enjoy in New South Wales. That's a major concern for us. We're also seeing very much a lack of uh, consultation with parents. Parents are um, more or less excluded from the process we're being talked to by ACARA, but we're certainly not part of the planning process. And I think that's an area that, uh, that ACARA needs to address. Issues were also raised with the fact that ACARA and the federal government have not made it clear what resources will be available to actually implement the new curriculum. I'm concerned about uh, how we will uh, find the time and resources to support teachers become familiar with the new um, Australian curriculum. Um, in primary schools, we are expected to uh, get our heads around four new syllabuses. That's a huge impost on us. And as a leader, I'm wondering how I'm going to manage that professional learning for staff um, so that they are familiar with maths, English, science and history over the next few years. ACARA must get this right. We need to support the learning needs of all of our students and ensure that they can engage effectively in our society. I feel that it's um, very academically driven. It's created by academics who have very little realistic view of what happens in a classroom and what makes students love learning history. Uh, it's very content driven. Um, it's, the, it's almost as if the skills and the outcomes have been added long afterwards. Uh, it doesn't in any way give us the flexibility to focus on what students are interested in and what they love learning. And I think it's going to kill history. It's just a list of things they've got to get through and a very long list at that. If teachers aren't engaged now, it is likely that we will end up with a curriculum that won't meet the needs of our students. For me as a high school teacher, I am very concerned about the amount of content, content that is in the Australian curriculum and especially the amount of content that what has currently been in the say year seven, year eight area that's being pushed down to the primary school area, um, it, which is already an overcrowded curriculum. There was consensus at the conclusion of the symposium that ACARA needed to stop further work on the Australian curriculum until they actually created an overarching framework as required by the decision of state and territory ministers. It was seen that without this framework, there would be no cohesion, no consistency, and incredible problems with all learning areas. The curriculum needs to be flexible enough to cater for all students across the range of circumstances which exist in schools. And 
we need proper support from our respective education systems to be able to properly support students in our classrooms. We urge all teachers to be engaged in, in the consultative process. Without your input, we won't have a 21st century curriculum. The Federation will call on the Minister for Education, Adrian Pickley, to pursue our concerns around ACARA's failure to develop an overarching framework and to provide adequate resources to implement and consult around a new curriculum.